I just came back from a trip in Germany and I felt very inspired by the trees. And as a long time viewer of coding adventures, I decided I'm going to make a tree simulator in a similar style. I started by making this tiny procedural world where all the trees are going to grow in. It's just using some pearly noise and a height gradient to choose the color. And now it's time to make the trees! Yeah, this might be too complicated. So I'll just take some inspiration from theoretical physics and assume it is simple. This is a real Wikipedia page by the way. So we're going to start very very simple, where we just have a log and the log can have a leaf, which gives it energy, which makes the log grow, um, until the leaf actually turns into another log. We're gonna have a very very simple tree with one leaf. So the way it works is that every part of the tree is an organ and each organ can get energy and when it gets energy it gets 25% for its own and 75% to the log below it and then the log below it saves 25% and gets the one below and below and below. I'm representing the amount of energy each log has by the thickness of it. And for this very boring example, I'm just going to add energy to the leaf again and again and again and again until it turns into a log and grows. The next thing I added is light rays to allow the tree to grow when it is um, exposed but stop growing when it is in the shadow and actually grow in half the speed when it's half in the shade. Next added branching, which happens 30% of the time, and energy consumption, so if something doesn't get enough energy, it actually shrinks until it has below zero and then it's destroyed, it disappears. I think it's a little unrealistic that the light is only coming from one direction, so I just implemented a sunset sunrise thing. And you know what's coming next, it's time to run 200 trees and see what's happened. It became really slow in the middle, so I needed to do some optimization. I opened the profile, found some quick fixes, uh, and changed some line of codes. It's just the two most obvious things. It's really not surprising because the project's code is really low quality. It's pretty cool, but I think it's gonna get way better when we'll add evolution. So now you can see a seed dropping from a tree to reproduce and actually each organism now have a set of genes. Currently it's only four properties, the probability to branch, how much energy does it take for a leaf to become a log, the probability to make a seed, so the probability of each leaf to destroy itself and make a seed instead, and the color of the leaves which is just so we can like recognize the different species. But just looking at it, it looks a bit too easy to survive, even though a few trees died, it's just making huge clumps, and it's too, too easy to make seeds, and too easy to grow, so I'll do a few changes, I'll make the energy consumption much higher, and the seed to have a probability to just be destroyed and not make another tree, um, and I'll complement it by making it a bit more easy to grow 
when you are in the sun so the sun would give also more energy so i'll do those few changes and let's see what's happened So right from the beginning, I can see there is one more change I want to do, and it is prevent logs growing into each other, so they can't occupy the same space. Um, but I think we can start to see a bit of evolution going on, and that the shapes of the trees are changing, and the separation into different species. Um, so we can see like different areas have different color to the leaves, uh, we can see like the leaves with the darker color um, and more branching and the yellowish tint and the greenish tint um, but I think it's gonna be a lot cooler when we'll run it for much longer and the logs wouldn't grow into each other so let's do it Okay, this is super cool, but it's still not exactly what I imagined. Uh, the evolution is a bit simple, and there is a problem, the trees easily get to the maximum point of the light, which is a height of 40, and then basically all, the, all of the trees are just the exact same height. And I think it's because of two reasons. First of all, the, height, the light level is a bit low, and I think we need more genes. We need more stuff to, to evolve with and I think I'm going to make it evolve a bit slower and give it an easier start. So the trees that we are planting randomly at the start are going to have more energy. Unfortunately, this also got stuck in the middle and I think it calls for much more optimization to run a more complex simulation. I wanted to see how the genes change as the simulation progress, but I've noticed the parent energy ratio was way too high, which means way too much energy went down instead of to growth. Um, so we're gonna change that and hopefully we're gonna see variation not only in these genes, but also in the other ones. So it looks like the energy ratio is still going down, but surprisingly, it's going way up now. It's very interesting to see that the energy ratio apparently is the most important thing. If it is not balanced, it's not even trying to balance the other genes. This is the first time I'm really starting to see the amount of complexity and the interesting things going on that we simply couldn't see before because we didn't see the actual genes. The reason that the energy ratio is initially going down and then up, it's because it's basically judging how much energy is going down the tree. So if it's going down, the tree can, go f can grow faster, but when it gets to a certain size, it will die because not enough energy is going to flow the whole length of the tree. And I think it's really interesting to see the amount of complexity with the log transition th threshold, which is how much energy does a leaf need to become a log. Um, and one of the most surprising things here is that the speed fall slowdown actually went down, which means they won't 
the, the seeds to fall faster. I can work forever on this, but I need to move on to other projects. And yeah, subscribe, like, um, be one of the first to watch my videos. I think we're gonna do some really cool stuff here. But for now, goodbye um, and see you in the next one. Thank you.